The Blaster Power for Q is the latest Wonder Workshop attachment for the Q robot for middle school age students. In this kit, you'll get a set of target cards, a set of directions, stands for the cards, the accessory itself, and the Nerf-like bullets that go with it. The first step for setting up this attachment is to follow the step-by-step -step directions included in the kit. You will need to insert the batteries into the blaster itself. By doing that, you'll find the two small screws. You will need a small Phillips head screwdriver to unattach the screws to be able to insert the batteries. This attachment requires three AAA batteries. Once the batteries are in place, it's now time to put the attachment onto the Q robot. In the ear holes of Q, you'll find a spot for the attachment to fit nice and snug. The power button for the attachment can be found on the underside of the battery pack. There's a small on-off switch that you'll turn on. You'll know that the power is there by the green light that indicates it has full power. The next step to prepare is to load the blaster with Nerf-like bullets. The blaster for Q is now ready to use. Using the Q app or the web-based version of Blockly for Q, you can create a program using the accessories tab to choose the fire blaster. In this program, you can create many, many options and hours of fun using this accessory. Here is one example of the program that I created using the Blaster for Q. The Blaster for Q pack also comes with a series of target cards used for target practice. Here is a program that was created to shoot at the target. If you have any additional questions about the Q-Robot itself or additional accessories for Q-Robots from Wonder Workshop, please visit firstmakerspace.com.